Kelsey. This is my channel, The Fancy Hat Lady Reads. I'm wearing one of my fancy booktube hats. I'm aware I'm behind on my wrap-ups right now. Um, hopefully I'll be able to catch up on my wrap-ups here towards the beginning of March. I had a slow video making month in February, but today what I'm bringing you is actually my March TBR. I'm planning on participating in a lot of readathons and read-alongs in the month of March, so most of these books are going to be things for those and it's way over ambitious. Carrying over for me, I still have three books, these three, um, that I am currently reading as the month starts. They are The Glass Town Game, The Onion Girl, and The Starlit Wood. These are all books I am just reading for my own sake though, so even though I'm really enjoying all of them, they are sort of less uh, high priority to actually get finished than a bunch of the other books that I will be starting in March, probably before I manage to finish these. So first off, this is the first month of read-alongs for the books on the Booktube SFF Awards shortlist. These are all happening over in the Goodreads group for the Booktube SFF Awards, so I will link that so you can check it out and join in. Of the books with read-alongs going on this month, I've picked two that are high priority. I really want to get these read this month during those read-alongs. The first is All Systems Read by Martha Wells. This is a Tor.com sci-fi novella that I've heard is just really, really likable. It's the first book in the Murderbot Diaries, which is going to be a series. A lot of people are finding this really relatable. It's apparently about a uh, security robot that just wants to keep to themselves and watch lots of television and read a lot of books and stuff. I have been itching to read this ever since I started seeing all the glowing positive reviews from people I trust. It's one of those things where from the, the cover and the title I never would have looked twice at it without booktube, which is why I am so grateful for booktube. And this is one of the booktube SFF award nominees in the short fiction category. The other one I want to read is one of the ones in the middle grade category, and that is Nevermore, The Trial of Morrigan Crow by Jessica Townsend. I believe this is a debut, and it's probably, I think, going to be the first in a series. I don't know a ton about this, but I am a sucker for whimsical, light, middle grade fantasy reads. The other one of the read-alongs for this month that I would really like to join in on, but I'm afraid that I'm just not going to have the time for, is Born by Jeff Vandermeer. This book just looks really weird, and so I'm intrigued. It's one of the adult sci-fi nominees. I haven't read any of the books nominated in the science fiction category, and unfortunately, looking at the read-along schedule, it's looking like I might not have time to read any of them um, by the end of the awards period, which would be sad. Of all of them, this is the one that I most want to read, but March is gonna be a cramped reading month for me and I just don't know if I'm gonna have time. Also going on in Goodreads group read-along world, I am still trying desperately to keep on top of reading something for every group read period of two months for the Into the Forest Goodreads group that I'm a member of that I just really like all of their picks and I want to read them all. This current read-along period ends mid-March and I haven't read any of them yet, but I have two of them. Um, the YA pick is Akata Witch by Nettie Korfor. This is very high priority for me. I own this book, I want to read it, so I'm gonna prioritize this towards the beginning of the month here. And then the other one that I'm super afraid I'm not going to get to because this is a book that's been on my radar for a long time and I'd really like to read it is Redemption in Indigo by Karen Lord. This is a retelling of a Senegalese folk tale and it's one that Goodreads recommends to me all the time. So moving on to readathons, the first one I'm participating in this month is going to be round four of the Because Dragons readathon. This is hosted as always by Jordan from Call Me Sensei. I will link her uh, Tumblr announcement post for the readathon, as well as the Goodreads group. And this is a readathon that is just centered around reading fantasy books for a week, which is kind of what I do every week anyways, but there are some challenges. There are also photo challenges, and it's fun. This round runs from March 5th to 11th. I am going to be traveling for most of that period. I'm leaving town on the 6th and getting back on the morning of the 13th. So this is all gonna have to be travel reading for me. Wish me luck. So there are five challenges this time around. They are one, read a blue fantasy book, two, read a fantasy book that takes place on, in, or underwater, three, read a debut fantasy novel, four, read a fantasy book that features war, 
and five, read a fantasy book with dragons. Because of the travel, I'm gonna try to double up on as many of the challenges as possible and hit them with as few books as I can. So I think I can hit Blue, Water, and Dragons all with one book, and that's Voyage of the Basilisk by Marie Brennan the third in the Memoirs of Lady Trent series. This is just a very fun Fantasy of Manners series for me. The uh, title of this one is obviously a pun on Voyage of the Beagle, so I am hoping that in this book Isabella, who is our dragon naturalist protagonist, will get to play the role of some sort of Darwin character for this world. Crossing my fingers. I believe this one involves a major expedition by sea. It has this dragon cover and obviously water and water creatures. The hardest challenge for me to find a book for on my shelf was strangely, given how many fantasy books I own to read, um, was the challenge of reading a fantasy book that features war. I, I sort of don't have a lot of those, and it's semi-intentional, but I hadn't really realized until I looked around the room looking for one that I have succeeded in acquiring a whole lot of fantasy books that aren't about war. I do have one that I think should be a fast-paced read, though, and that is Throne of Jade by Naomi Novik. This one, of course, is also about dragons, so if for any reason I fail to read Voyage of the Basilisk, this one can double up for that challenge as well. It is the second book in the Temeraire series, which is alternate history Napoleonic Wars with Dragons. The first book was His Majesty's Dragon, also known in some countries as Temeraire. Um, I thought this was just a super addictively fast-paced read, so I'm hoping this one will be the same and that would make it a good readathon book for me. And then the only challenge left is to read a debut novel. I had thought that I would use Nevermore to hit this because middle grade is usually fast paced for me um, and pretty easy to read, but I realized I will be traveling and this is physically a chunker, so maybe this makes sense for me to read later in the month. And then I realized that I had a couple other debuts planned for this month that I could read anyways. Redemption in Indigo was, uh, in fact, Karen Lord's debut novel, which I didn't realize until I got the physical book from the library and the back says, Karen Lord's debut novel, and it is much, much slimmer, so it would be easier to travel with. The third option that I have for a debut would be this Arc of the Hazel Wood by Melissa Albert, which I am ridiculously late in reviewing, given that this book came out in January, and I won this copy in a Goodreads giveaway like months before then. But I'm leaning towards Redemption and Indigo for the debut, making this might be because Dragon's Readathon TBR. Given that this is a read-along for the early part of the month, this one goes the whole month, so I've got longer. And this one, I'm, you know, I feel late in reading it, but I'm reading it on my own time. The next readathon I want to participate in, I think I'm going to have to participate in a little less fully, just because I don't think I have time to add a ton more books to my immediate TBR. But that is the Translatathon. This is a readathon created and hosted by Rhea from the channel Belfinkins. I will link her announcement video down below. She has a roster of, I think, like, five co-hosts to help her run it. There's also a Twitter account for this readathon that I will link for you so you can go follow over on Twitter as well. It's basically all about reading translated books, works in translation. It runs from March 11th through 18th, so there's a day of overlap there with the Because Dragons readathon. So I don't think I'm going to start on the translatathon books until after the Because Dragons readathon ends. There are five challenges. I'm not even going to try to hit them all. I'm just gonna try to read some of the translated fiction on my TBR, um, but the challenges are to read a translated graphic novel, read a book with LGBTQIA plus themes, read a book that has been translated into 10 languages or more, buddy read a translated book, and read books from five or more non-English speaking countries. Now I'm not even gonna try to read five books for this, it's not gonna happen with all the other things. But I have a translated NetGalley arc that I'm way overdue in reviewing, and that is The Book of Pearl by Timothée Dufon Bell. This is a YA book that is apparently popular in France. It is translated from French and it apparently has fairy tale-ish themes, so I need to get that read and reviewed, so I'm gonna use the translatathon as impetus to get that done, and then 
I am going to read a couple more small things. I've got one more of the Moomin books by Tuve Janssen. This is Finn Family Moomin Troll. These are kids classics. And then I'd also like to get a little bit of manga read. So I have Children of the Whales Volume 1, which just it looks gorgeous, it looks weird, it looks genre-bendy, and one volume of manga should be pretty quick to read. So I'm guessing that none of you are planning on reading either of these for the Translate-a-thon or the Book of Pearl, but if you are, there is that challenge to do a buddy read, so feel free to reach out to me. So the idea that I'm trying to read all of these things plus the one NetGalley arc on my Kindle just for readathons and read-alongs um, in the month of March is pretty intimidating to me. Of course, I want to read some things just for me. I already mentioned The Hazel Wood, but I still have not read Taste of Marrow by Sarah Gailey, which is the sequel to River of Teeth. I want to read more feral hippo stuff. And also, uh, I have a bunch of Tor.com novels I want to read, but another one that's high priority for me right now is The Only Harmless Great Thing by Brooke Bolander, which is itty bitty bitty. Um, I may... I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna, like, bring all the Tor.com novellas with me while I travel, these two plus All Systems Red, just because they're small and I can probably fit them in my bag. But that may be a bad idea to bring, like, way more books than I can possibly read. So yeah, that's all the stuff I want to read in March, plus the three that I'm already reading, plus I do have two NetGalley arcs that are March releases, and those are, what are they? The first one is The Tea Master and the Detective, which is a novella by Elliot de Bodard um, from Subterranean Press. I know it's part of her sci-fi Julia universe um, that she's written previous stuff in, but I don't think you have to read other stuff in that universe first. I know that her story in this one that I haven't gotten to yet does take place in that world, so I don't know if I should finish this book first. This is supposed to be like a Sherlockian mystery in space with an Asian female protagonist and a sentient spaceship. It sounds great and the cover is beautiful. And then the other thing that I have is The Queens of Innis Lear by Tessa Grattan. This is a high fantasy spin on King Lear that was in my anticipated SFF releases of 2018 video. There's just too many books. Feel free to tell me how nuts I am and how stressed I'm going to make myself in the comments. Also, feel free to check out any of the readathons or read-alongs that I mentioned. Anyhow, I hope you are having a nice day. That is all. Bye for now. <laughs>